sir. Okay, guys, today is Wednesday, May 31st. All right, we're going to get back into our devotion and discipleship. Yay! Praise the Lord. Yeah. All right, so Yay. we need a song request. Okay. All right, very good. Let's go for it. One, two, one, two, ready, sing. Blessed be your name, a land that is plentiful. The streams of abundance flow. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. song, go get the lyrics. I'm, I'm trying to catch up reading, and y'all are like, if I miss one word, y'all are like, blessed be you. On the road, Mark, with seven. And you're looking at me like, what's going on, Dad? What's going on? Hey, um, yeah, you were like, come on, Dad. JW, get some lyrics, please. on one side and it goes to the other. Blessed be your name. Or is it two separate songs? It's both. Yeah, it's both. Alright, good job. Go for it, Noah. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Blessed be your name in a land that is plentiful where streams of abundance flow. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name, when I'm found in the desert place, though I walk through the wilderness, blessed be your name. Every blessing, every blessing you pour out, I'll turn back to praise. When the darkness closes in, Lord, still I will say, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your glorious name. Blessed be your name. When the 
the sun shining down on me. For the world's all as it should be. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. A road marked with suffering. There's pain in the offering. Blessed be your name. Every blessing. Every blessing. Thank you for this day. Thank you for being there for us. I hope that we can get many things accomplished today. And thank you for being there for us. For us. And I hope that that we can know your holy word and apply to our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for this day. Thank you for everything that you've done for us. And I please hope that we'll be able to tell all things accomplished. And I please hope that the Bloom Festival will run smoothly. I uh, please hope that we'll be able to fix, uh, fix whatever is broken. I'll just now pray, amen. Is that everyone? No, okay. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for everything that you've done for us. Just to get many things accomplished and also help us to make sure so that we may understand it. Just now pray, amen. Yes, we love you. Lord Jesus, and we thank you for your many blessings. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for allowing us to be clothed in our right minds, uh, just to be seated at your table for devotion and discipleship, praise and worship. And uh, we're so thankful to be able to uh, receive this awesome spiritual meal, uh, nourishment for, uh, for our souls, our spirits, and, and yes, even our body. Uh, we love you and we thank you. In Yeshua's name, we pray. Amen. 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 So a little bit of a review. Just a little bit. Who can help me out with uh, yesterday? What we went over yesterday. 
All right, we had devotion and discipleship yesterday. Right. Don't everybody raise their hand at the same time? J.W. Naomi. Then I, Naomi. Okay. Right. Second. So, okay, appreciate you. I'm coming to you as well. What, what do you remember, Levy? Uh, okay, we're going back to J.W. So, um, we, through the Spirit, if we... Verses, we did verses 29 through 17. Or, or was it 12, 12 through 17? I know definitely 12 through 17. All right. In 12 through 17, that was what you came on the trailer. Therefore, brothers and sisters, oh, Naomi, you said you were going to share. Yes. Please. Yeah, and we are um, co heirs and we're here. Heirs. 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 I, I know it has an H at the beginning, oh, yes. but it's not co heirs. Uh, it's, it, yes, the H is silent in heirs. We're co heirs. Good job. Um, third adopt. Mm -hmm. What what type of adoption is this? Because Jesus cries out, Abba, Father. And there you go. <laughs> I'm coming to you next. I mean, so while Naomi is talking, why are you like, <laughs> like just be patient, please yeah. go, please. And, um, yeah. All right. Co hairs. Ears. Ears. Hairs. 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 You said hairs. The H is silent. I did that on purpose. All right. The H is. Co ears. 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 Yeah, kind of like A-I-R, air. We breathe in air. air. All right. The air up there co-airs. The H is silent. E. Noah, go, sir. Um, and also, the um, spirit of adoption also testifies with our spirit. Mm. Testifies. <laughs> what does testify mean? To bring up a testimony at um. Mm -hmm. Bring up a testimony at um. A, a so claim. who testifies? The, the spirit, the Holy Spirit. Ooh, the Holy Spirit testifies. With our spirit of adoption, that we're Christ's children, that if we suffer, suffer with Him, then then we will indeed share. It. Thank you very much. So let me read that uh, 12 through 17. <laughs> Therefore, brothers and sisters, we have an obligation. What is an obligation? An Some, obligation. Somebody else tell me. What did you say? Obligation. Obligation? Obligation. Whatever. Naomi, Naomi. <laughs> this, okay. Obligation. Yeah, obligation. Yeah, that's not what you said the first or the second time. You were like, obligation. Yeah. What is an obligation? Here's some information. 
Why why won't she just say it? I don't want to read. Obligation, J.W. I mean, Noah. An obligation. No, obligation is... No, he, he said he raised his hand first. Go ahead, sir. Obligation is something that is usually you're supposed you're supposed to do, and it's been implemented by someone or something. Define obligation. Obligation means an act or course of action to which a person is morally or legally bound, a duty or commitment. All right, an act or course of, of action to which a person is morally or legally bound, a duty or commitment. Um, in today's terms, a lot of times an obligation, um, especially if it is written and expressed in paper form, is by contract. You have an obligation to perform. Mm. Or else. What's your obligation? Yeah, I just shared that. You have an obligation to make your bed in the morning. Shush. All right. No, we're not going to say that, Naomi. That's not nice. And, and to do your chores, you have an obligation. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. You are, you are bound by the Brown family, all right, <laughs> to be a good team member in the Brown be family. Like the black family. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll get there, all right. Open up a can of worms. I apologize. All right. Uh, so, uh, let me go back to the word. Therefore, brothers and sisters, we have an obligation, something that we must do, okay? But it is not to the flesh to live according to it. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the spirit you put to death the misdeeds of the body, you will live. For those who are led by the spirit of God are the children of God. The spirit you received does not make you slaves so that you live in fear again. Rather, the spirit you received brought about your adoption to sonship. And by him we cry, Abba, Father. The spirit himself testifies with our spirit that we are God's children. Okay. Now, if we are children, then we are hares. Hares. Heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ, if indeed we share in his sufferings, in order that we may also share in his glory. All right. And so we also brought up what it means to share in, in his sufferings. Okay. We went back to the Beatitudes towards the end, Matthew chapter 5, verses 10 and 11. All right. All who are persecuted. All right. And uh, and, and people do uh, that, that suffer uh, because of because of him. She said, oh, if you're going to go through all of those things because of me, he said, guess what? I'm going to make sure you're blessed. OK. And right here is, is confirming that. Yes. And that if we share in that suffering. Yes. Uh, in order that we may also share in his glory. Amen? All right. As co-heirs. Do you have something applicable to share? Um, are you going to suffocate somebody? Hmm? I thought, <laughs> no, I think, I think she thought that you said. I said suffering. Suffering means that, um, not suffocate, all right? Suffocate means that, all right. That you can't breathe. I can't breathe, all right? Uh, but suffering means that someone is going through uh, something very painful, okay? Sad? It could be sad, yes. They, they could be suffering externally, or they could be suffering on the inside, and they're weeping and shedding tears. Okay, thank you very much. So right now we're going to go on to verse 18. 
where it shares. Everyone, please open up your Bibles. Romans chapter 8 and head to verse 18. Present suffering and future glory. So the last sentence talked about, yes, yeah, sharing in his sufferings. All right, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, his sufferings, in order that we may also share in his glory. But is that glory that's going to take place right now? No. No. Is there a mansion? All right, there's many rooms that everyone's just supposed to stay in right now? No, sir. No, he's talking about where? In the future. Heaven. Okay, so present suffering and future glory. All right, so we're going to start at verse 18, and someone's going to read for me four verses. First. Okay. Second. I think Trey said first. Second. Uh. You said something, Kayla. She said I would. All right. I would. Okay. 18 through 21. Trey, go please. What we are suffering now is nothing compared with our, with our future glory. Everything God created looks forward to the future. That will be the time when his children appear in their full and final glory. The creative world was held back from fulfilling its purpose. But this was not the reason. You got it. Not the results? What, what word is that that he's working on? Yeah, result. Like the result of its own choice. It was planned that way by the one who held it back. God planned to set the creative world free. He didn't want it to rot away. Instead, God wanted it to have the same freedom and glory that his children have. All right, good job, good job. All right, so <clears throat> that was 18 through through verse what? 21? That was four verses? Yes, yeah. All right, so I'm going to read from the NLT. So yet what we suffer now is nothing compared to the glory he will reveal to us later. For all creation is waiting eagerly for that time, all right? For that future day when God will reveal who his children really are. All right. And so uh, that, that's going to be revealed at a future time. All right. Uh, unfortunately, there's going to be some folks that that claim to be God's children. Um, but are, are they going to be? Okay. There's going to be some folks that guess what? that have never stepped foot in a church before, okay? They, they don't look, you know, they don't look polished or they don't dress up and put on their Sunday's best. And, and, and you look at them and you'd be like, you know, um, you know, they don't look like a child of God, but guess what? It's what's on the inside, right? It's very, very difficult to judge uh, by, by an outward appearance. Okay? You understand? And, and so Jesus said back in Matthew 6, was that 6? Uh, many are going to come to him in, in that day. Find me that verse. Someone, please. And they're going to say to him, Lord, Lord, we did all of these things. All right? In your name. Okay? We cast out demons. All right, we prophesied in your name, Jesus. And what's Jesus going to say to them? Depart from me, for you a sinful. Yeah. Well, we're gonna we're gonna find that verse. So we're not. I'm not paraphrasing, but we're gonna find it. Y'all gonna make me find it first. What verse is it? Oh, I know. I know. I know. Can you 
I got it. I thought it was in, was it Matthew 7, 6? 21. Oh, it's in 7, at the end of the Beatitudes. Okay. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name, and in, and in your name drive out demons, and in your name perform many miracles? And I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evil doer. Mm-hmm. Get away from me. You who break God's law, you workers of iniquity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so you hear that? Not everyone who calls out, out to him, Lord, Lord, runs to the kingdom of heaven. Now, the thing is, on judgment day, many will say, Lord, Lord, we prophesied in your name. We cast out demons in your name and we perform miracles in your name. Guess what? It is not. Stop him. It's not naysayers, all right? It, it's not it's not people that, like, don't claim to know uh, God, all right? The world is filled with those people, okay? Right here, he's talking about people that actually tried to, they thought they were getting it right. They tried to get it right, all right? M most of these are like church folks. Okay, in today's kind of standard like term of church folks that are that are prophesying in his name, casting out demons in his name, and performing miracles in, in, in his name. Okay. And, and so what I'm sharing is is that uh, many of those folks will have unfortunately gotten it wrong. Okay, but let's go back to Romans 8. Go back to Romans 8. Pre appreciate you living. Appreciate you giving. All right. So, for all creation is waiting eagerly for the future day when God will reveal who his children really are. Okay? And, and so, if God has to reveal it, then uh, obviously there's some folks going around right now that think that their children of God, just the same way that they spoke to Jesus. Hey, hey, we do these things in your name. He's like, I, I don't know you. You're not a child of God. Okay? Uh, and, and so, um, you you cannot go around and, and look into everyone's heart. Not the way that God can. Right? And also, also, one difficult thing that people have to understand is that there are so many people on different levels, okay? And I've shared this with you all before as well. There are some folks out there who are babes in Christ, and, and, and God is going to give them some more grace and mercy than, 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 than someone um, who is older and mature in, in Christ. Same way I, I give the babies in, in the house more grace and mercy, right? And I know you all don't like it. I know you older ones don't think that it's fair. Y'all, I know y'all are like, oh, they get away with everything, all right? They be making a mess, uh, and, and they do this, all right? And your mom is still like, oh, they're so cute. And we have to clean it up before we watch TV. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know you don't like it. I know. I know y'all like it. You don't think it's fair, okay? Well, guess what? How, how much more, how much more would you not like, um, you know, someone out here that, guess what, had lived a life full of sin, okay? And guess what? They, they, they've been selling drugs. They got a whole bunch of tattoos all over their body, and they're, they're doing it big, all right? All the while, we're, we're here farming. Guess what? By faith, they they come to know Jesus Christ, okay, and they declare Jesus a, as their Lord and their Savior. Is he is he just to forgive them? Yes. Yes, yes, he will. Now, a, as soon as that person's conversion, they're they're going to live perfect, perfectly right after that. Mm -mm. No. 
Yeah, they're they're a babe in Christ. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're a babe in Christ. Like, like, like for instance, your myself and your mother, like we're working towards years and years of of sanctification. Okay, and and denying ourselves and putting on God's holiness and, and trying to put on His righteousness, like crucifying my flesh, okay, and, and denying my old man so that at, at every single day I'm trying to take up my cross and follow after Jesus, all right? And and even like now versus myself a couple of years ago or, or like five years ago, 10 years ago, like um, I'm not the same man, okay? All right, and so it takes years it can be a lifetime of, of sanctification, okay? Um, but but someone that, that's just recently converted, yeah, it can be easy to point the finger at them and be like, hmm, like, look, look at the contrast between them and, and, and Jason Brown, all right? He, he's, he's living, you know, uh, trying to live more of a holy and righteous life and, and look at them, all right? And guess what? You can't judge people like that. The first are going to be? Last. All right, and the last are going to be? First. All right, God's math is way different than our math, all right? That woman who gave two cents, who gave everything that she had, all right? She's going to be more so richly rewarded than people who who uh, give a whole bunch of credit to me walking away from the NFL. Like, oh, he gave up millions. Well, guess what? The woman who, who gave two cents and gave all that she had, who gave more? She did. Spiritually, she gave more. You see the difference? All right. And so... You can't take pride in that. That, that it, you can't take any pride at all. That that's the stumbling block that the Sadducees and the Pharisees made. Okay, like don't think that you better. Mm -mm. Don't 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 try and raise your head up like you're all pious and act like you better. Look, you better keep a a humble position and a lowly position and. He must increase and we must decrease. All right? Yes, ma'am. So the people that gave more cents, they were happy. Well, God loves a cheerful giver. All right? Yes. And if there is anything that we give, yes, we should give from, from our hearts. All right? And, and, and give with a, a cheerful attitude. All right? If, if, if you're giving begrudgingly, then you might as well not even give at all. You understand? Like, if, if you're going to give with a, a, a bitter and a nasty attitude, then, like, you might as well not even give at all. All right? Thank you, Libby, for sharing that and point, pointing that out. Okay? Um, and, and so, that right there, that, that that's a doozy. Okay? The future day when God will reveal who his children really are. And, and so God is going to reveal that. And, and many people are going to be surprised. All right. They're going to see some people and they'll be like, oh man, you know, I thought they were, I thought they were a, a Christian. You know, I thought they were living, you know, for, for God. And like, there's going to be these ministers and preachers on, on TV that have millions of followers and, and guess what not not all of them are, are going to go all right and like, like I said it could be someone else that 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 the world would judge them all right and the world would be like that doesn't look like a Christian that doesn't look like a child of God but guess what the, the Holy Spirit knows, okay, that that Holy Spirit is going to give that confirmation, not not any any person, okay. 
Um, so against its will, all creation was subjected to God's curse. But with eager hope, the creation looks forward to the day when it will join God's children in glorious freedom from death and decay. All right. For we know that all creation has been groaning as in the pains of childbirth right up to the present time. Okay. And we believers also groan, even though we have the Holy Spirit within us as a foretaste of future glory. For we long for our bodies to be released from sin and suffering. We too wait with eager hope for the day when God will give us our full rights as his adopted children, including new bodies he has promised us. So that, that, that was the end of verse uh, 23. That was a long verse. Uh, yeah, Trey didn't read that. All right. That 23 is, uh, is, is a good verse. And, and that's talking about the redemption of, of our bodies. All right. Uh, Revelations, you know, talks about that uh, a lot more when there's like a, a new earth. All right. We'll, we'll have new, new bodies. And I'll, I'll have a six pack. All right. I'm not gonna have six. What? Maybe. 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 Okay. Oh, you mean it's flesh? Though. I think it's more spiritual. Oh, oh, spiritual. Oh, okay. I, 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 I thought I was. And I thought we were gonna be dressed in righteousness. I maybe thought a God was. Gonna, pack. I you thought God was gonna pack. give me a six pack. All right. But that's uh that that's where we are, and that, that's where we're gonna slow down and, and stop. Yeah. So Trey read. 18 through 21. I just read verses 22 and 23 because it, yeah, it just kept going on and on talking about, um, yes, that, that anticipation, uh, that, that eagerly waiting. All right. And, and that, that is, that is a good thing. A very, very good thing. All right. Let's pray, babies. It took you a while to get back down here, Judah. Uh, I don't know what happened. You, you disappeared for like 25 minutes. Oh, that's what it is. Aww. Did you watch any TV last night? Yes. yes. Okay. No TV tonight. And it's, it's and not really supposed to be for a week. He has tried feeding himself too. All right. One week, one week. Livy, you got like you struggling in the morning too? All right, you're going to have to get your nap time as well. Let's pray. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, thank you again for this morning. Yes, uh, we eagerly and patiently await uh, your, your return. We love you and we thank you so much. And uh, yes, it is our, our hope, our, our prayer uh, that, that yes, that uh, we are uh, recognized as your children. Uh, that, that, yes, that the Holy Spirit uh, uh, gives confirmation uh, within us uh, that, that we are uh, brothers and sisters, co-heirs with our Lord and Savior, uh, Jesus Christ. And so, yes, yeah, so, so please allow us to continue to have a, a humble heart um, as we, we patiently wait and, and seek after you, uh, dear, dear Jesus. Uh, please continue to allow us to, to, to meet and, and, and just go, go over your word to, just to, to spend this, uh, this uh, awesome, intimate time with you every single morning. Uh, we thank you, and uh, we're so appreciative uh, of this awesome opportunity. In your precious name we pray, Yeshua. Amen. 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 Let the church.